If you're looking for somewhere that will brighten up your day or researching your next holiday destination, look no further than these colorful cities. Whether they're hidden away amongst mountains, lying alongside the sea, or on an island in a lagoon, these brightly colored cities are as photogenic and picturesque as they come. Freshly painted or fading from the passing of the centuries, these cities certainly count amongst the most colorful in the world. Number 10. Sigi Sawara Now one of the most popular tourist destinations in Romania, Sigi Sawara is noted for its wonderful walled old town, magnificent medieval architecture, and lovely pastel-hued buildings. Exploring its age-old cobbled streets is a delight. Quaint artisanal shops and cafes can be found hidden away amongst the colorful collection of well-preserved churches, townhouses, and watchtowers. Located in the center of the country in Transylvania, Sigi Zawara is also reputed to be where Vlad the Impaler, the inspiration for Dracula, was born. With lots of myths and legends swirling around its multi-hued and charming streets, Sigi Zawara is a magical place to visit. Number 9. New Haven While Denmark's capital of cool is a wonderful place to visit, it is the historic harborside town of New Haven that attracts the most attention. Lying at the heart of Copenhagen, New Harbor is lined by multi-hued townhouses that were built in the 17th and 18th centuries. Bobbing on the harbor in front of them are many wooden ships, and the lively cafes, bars, and restaurants along the waterfront only add to the ambiance. The oldest standing building in Copenhagen is located at number 9, while Danish author Hans Christian Andersen lived at number 18 for some years. Number 8. Monarola While Monarola may only have a population of some 350 people, the small Italian town welcomes hundreds of thousands of visitors each year. One of the five towns that make up the Cinque Terre in Italian Riviera, Monarola is a very cute, charming, and colorful place that hugs the mountainside and overlooks the Mediterranean. Tightly packed together, the faded yellows, oranges, and pinks of its buildings look all the more spectacular and make for some fantastic photos from the hiking trails above the town. Number 7. Pelorino Salvador's historic center Pelorino is awash with color. Magnificent colonial-era buildings line its cobbled streets and squares. The first colonial capital of Brazil, Salvador boasts lots of pastel-colored monuments and historic houses dating from the 17th through the 19th centuries. The city, and Pelorino in particular, is renowned for its rich Afro-Brazilian heritage and culture. It's a fantastic place to visit during Carnival. This is when bright, chaotic celebrations take over Salvador streets in the form of parades, dancing, and other festivities. Number 6. Guanajuato 
tucked away in a narrow valley in central Mexico lies the beautiful colonial city of Guanajuato. The city was founded in 1554 next to one of the richest silver mining areas of Mexico. The 16th century mining boom led to the construction of beautiful haciendas and fine colonial mansions. Many of them are built out of pink and green sandstone. Guanajuato streets and many colorful alleyways spread out in every direction, while most of its traffic is served by a network of underground tunnels, making it an excellent city for pedestrians. Number 5. Jodhpur Once the capital of the Kingdom of Marwar, Jodhpur, on the edge of the Barinthar Desert, is now popularly known as the Blue City. As the cultural capital of Rajasthan state, it is blessed with centuries-old temples and beautiful palaces. Its most distinctive features, however, are the beautiful blue-washed buildings of the Old Town that lie clustered beneath the imposing walls of a huge fort. Legend has it that the city was painted blue because local priests thought it was an auspicious color. With lots of alluring sounds, sights, and smells, Jodhpur and its many blue hues are sure to provide lots of incredible photos and memories of an unforgettable trip. Number 4. Burano Renowned for its brightly painted houses, the small island of Burano can be found at the northern end of the Venetian Lagoon, around a 40-minute Vaporetta ride from St. Mark's Square. The daring and distinctive look of the town came about when fishermen returning home from their catch realized they couldn't find their way in the fog. Consequently, they painted their homes in very bright colors. These now stand out delightfully against the emerald waters of the canals and lagoon around them. Very picturesque to gaze upon, Burano is now one of Venice's most popular and photogenic tourist destinations. Number 3. La Boca One of Buenos Aires' most famous and fun-filled barrios, La Boca is renowned for both its colorful wooden houses and the sound of tango that reverberates around the neighborhood. A very artistic and creative place, La Boca is awash with amazing sights. Outdoor photography exhibitions and murals lie alongside pulsating tango clubs and lively street markets. This part of the Argentine capital is also home to La Bombonera, Boca Juniors' famous football stadium. Exploring the barrio is a must when in Buenos Aires for its vibrant feel and energetic nature. Number 2. Bocap Formerly known as the Malay Quarter, Bocap is the most colorful of Cape Town's many neighborhoods. 
Nestled at the foot of Signal Hill, the one-time township is full of fantastic architecture, with lots of brightly colored facades lining its cobbled streets. The neighborhood's colorful and cheerful nature came about when liberated slaves painted their homes in bright colors to showcase their newfound freedom and happiness. To learn all about Bokop and its rich history and culture, make sure to visit the Bokop Museum, which was built in the 1760s. Number 1. Chef Chouin Located in the northwest of Morocco, the small city of Chef Chouin is famous for its mesmerizing medina. Every building in the old town is painted a lovely shade of blue. While some claim that it was Jewish refugees in the 1930s who painted the town to symbolize the sky and heaven, others postulate that the buildings were decked in blue to keep mosquitoes away. Whatever the reason, Chef Chouin certainly makes for a spectacular sight, particularly when contrasted with the dusty, arid Rif Mountains. With lots of exquisite architecture, a thriving culinary scene, and loads of breathtaking photo opportunities, the Blue Pearl is not to be missed.